Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part five of my Samsung Mobile SDK tutorial. Today, we are going to look at the Samsung S Look Air button and all the cool things you can do with it. And I have a lot to do, so let's just jump into it. And of course, this is brought to you because of the Samsung Smart App Challenge, in which up to 12 winners have the opportunity to win $1.1 million. And if it is still November 2013, in the description under the video, you will find a way to win from me and the nice people at Samsung, a Samsung Galaxy Note 3, or one of three Samsung Galaxy Gear smartwatches. Okay, so let's take a look at what we're going to do. All right, so this is a demonstration of Air Button, and I'm going to walk you through every piece of code step by step to see exactly what's going to happen here. Basically, what Air Button allows us to do is to create customized menus right on the screen by clicking on the button on the S Pen. So, for example, if somebody would click on Frequent List, a list of different people's names are going to pop up on the screen in this situation. But you're going to see there are numerous other different things we can do. So basically, what is going on here? Well, the first thing we're going to need to do is define a button, which is going to be Frequent List in this situation and its name is going to be button recipient recipient meaning these names then what's going to happen is a method called create recipient list widget from view is going to be called and it is going to create an instance of the s look air button then what's going to happen is this method is going to call this method get adapter recipient list and it's going to return an array list which is going to be displayed inside of this menu you see right here there's actually four menus so now let's take a look at the menu menu button over here. Whenever it's clicked, this nice menu is going to pop up with little images inside of it. Basically, we'll have the button menu. That's what this is called. Whenever it's clicked on, it's going to call create menu widget from view, which is going to call get adapter menu list, which is going to give us an array list, which is going to create this menu. Also, if show text is clicked on, which is called button text, button text is a reference to this guy down here. Whenever button text is clicked on, create text list widget from view is going to be called. Again, another S look air button is going to be generated, which is going to call get adapter string list, which is going to return an array list, which is going to display this menu. And then finally, also to demonstrate that we can use just straight images whenever this button down here is clicked, which is called button image. It's going to call create image list widget from view, which is going to call get adapter image list, which is going to return an array list, which is going to create this menu. So as you can see, we're going to be doing the same thing four different times and generating four totally different customized menus. So there's a lot to do. So let's just jump into the code. Okay, so here we are inside of activity air button simple. This is an XML file that's going to handle the layout for exactly what you just saw. And of course, there was a background in that. So I'm going to show you how to generate a background. Just call Android background is equal to. And then we're going to put a drawable inside of this. So drawable. And then we can look inside of here and you can see background right there. And if you're wondering where background is, it's over here in drawable XXHDPI. Come down inside of here and there you see background. And if I click on it, you're going to see the background that you just previously saw. So I'm not going to do that. Then we're going to be able to go in here and go Android and give this an ID equal to at plus ID. And then I'm going to call this root layout. And that's all we're going to need to do for that. Then we're going to go over into the graphical layout and we're going to get our buttons. And we're basically just going to drag some buttons over here and drop them into place. Not going to worry about where they are. We're going to line them up inside of the XML code. So just come up here and form widgets, grab a button, throw it wherever, grab another button, throw it wherever, grab another button, throw it wherever, and grab another button and throw it wherever. So there we go. There's all our buttons. Then I'm going to click inside of the XML file and set these buttons up properly. Now remember, I already gave the buttons a name, so this first button we're going to deal with here is going to be button recipient. We're going to have its width be fill parent. Wrap content is perfectly fine for our height. Align parent top in this situation is going to be true. We're going to get rid of align parent left altogether, and then we're also going to have this be center horizontal. So come in here, select that, layout, and center horizontal and leave that set for true and this guy we can get rid of all together the margins and then for the text in this we're going to put frequent list and I'm just gonna hold off until I got all the buttons set up before we take a look at exactly what we have and it's giving me a little yellow line there because it wants this in strings.xml I'm gonna create the next one which is gonna be button text 
just like I showed you previously. Width in this situation is going to be 200 DIP. Height, wrap content, perfectly fine. Align parent, I'm going to change this. Well, I'm going to get rid of this altogether. Change this to align parent bottom. Set that to true. And also we're going to get the layout center horizontal. Copy that paste that in there and get rid of this margin altogether as well. And we're going to give this a name of show text. Scroll down inside of here. Now we're going to create the button menu. Width is going to be set for 100 DIP. Height, wrap content, perfectly fine. I'm just going to get rid of these all together. Copy this guy right here. Paste that in there. Change this to center vertical. And actually I want to use a margin this time. Now of course you're going to lay this out on the screen but because I want this to be exactly the same as what I had in the example I want everything to line up exactly right. Change this to 50 DIP and then give this the name of menu. And then finally we're going to have button image. Width is going to be 60 DIP. Height wrap content perfectly fine. There's not going to be any margin on this. Get rid of that. Let's get an align parent bottom back down here. Paste that in there. And then an align parent right and set that to true. And then finally for the text we're going to put a plus sign because that's what we had before. File save it and there you can see everything is laid out exactly like we had before. All right, except it was horizontal before, but whatever, I'm not gonna worry about that. So now I have to jump into air button simple activity .java, and I'll explain every single thing we're gonna do here. Basically, we have our imports, they're all out of the way. We have to define the layout we wanna use with set content view, and that's going to be r dot layout dot, and then we're going to use activity air button simple. There it is, right there, the guy we just created, semicolon. And then we're going to initialize these buttons. So first off, we're going to get button menu is equal to, convert that to a button, find view by ID, or dot ID dot, and then we're going to get button menu right there. And if you don't remember, this is the one we're dealing with. Button menu is this guy, which means we're going to be calling create menu widget from view, and then calling get adapter menu list to get the array list to create this guy. So let's do that, call create menu, widget from view, pass it, button menu, and then we're going to have to create this. Copy that, come down here, and of course I'm going to put a link to all the code in the description for this. It's going to return an S look air button, just paste that in there. Of course we're going to be getting a button, but then we're going to pass this as a view, because everything's a view pretty much, component wise anyway. And what we're going to do is create an instance of the S look air button. So we'll go S look air button, call this air button widget equal to new s look air button and then we're going to pass the view or the button in this situation and then we need to call get adapter menu list which we're going to create here in a second and of course it's going to return the array list that we're going to use then we have to define the type of menu we want to use so call s look air button again and we're going to type in ui type menu this guy right here and you know what the menu looks like because i just showed you and make this a lowercase l sorry about that as well as that one. And basically what this means right here is what we're saying is we want the menu display version of all the potential possible menus that we would want to use. Now this menu in this situation isn't going to be scrollable. It will however have an image and it's also going to have text and on top of that it's going to be displayed in a horizontal manner. Now when you're using images to create this menu just to note this it's best to have them be 32 dp by 32 dp drawables and I'll get into exactly where those are going to be stored here in a second. Now remember we have to create get adapter menu list. Now oh, what the heck might as well just create it now. And like I said before this is going to return an S look air button adapter. Paste that in there. Then we're going to create our array list which we're going to store everything inside of and everything's going to be stored as air button items. Call this item list and then this is just going to be a call to array list. Da, 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 da. Just like always. Brackets in there and there we go. Then we're just going to call item list add new. We're going to get air button item. We're going to have to get a drawable. So we're going to have to make a call to get resources and then call get drawable. And then in this situation specifically call drawable dot IC menu add. And this is going to be the image that shows up inside of there. Make sure we put the dot right there and not right here. Comma. And then the text that we want to show up which is going to be the word add. Another comma and then we're just going to put null inside of there. And if you want to know where that drawable is, it's over here again in the same resources folder. We scroll up drawable xxhdpi and there you can see IC menu add. Let's open it just to do it. And there you can see it's a plus sign. 
So that's the image we're going to be using. And then for every single menu item that we want to put inside of there, we just do that over and over again for all those different menu options. So I just went ahead and did that for you. Let's line these up so they look nice. And there we go. We're going to do the same exact thing each time for every menu item that we want to put inside of there. So pretty easy. And then finally, we just call return after we have everything set up properly. New, S look, air button, adapter, and pass our item list. And there you are, all set up. And I think previously I said that an array list was going to be returned, but no, indeed, an S look air button adapter is what's returned. And that's what we're going to use. Sorry about the confusion. So now we just need to jump back up inside of this guy right here. And we're going to define the display direction for these items. So I'm going to call air button widget and set direction, call S look, air button, and then we're going to go direction right. There we go. Then we're going to set the item select listener instance that's going to receive an event if one of these buttons should be clicked on. And then we're going to go like this, air button, widget, set item, select, listener, M callback, which is going to be used to select and open a toast to display the specific item that was clicked. We're going to create M callback here in a second. And then finally return air button widget. So pretty cool. So now let's create M callback. Let's just create it right here. Call private. Return an item select listener. M callback is equal to new item select listener. And let's just do this inline. Throw in a semicolon. And it's going to say, hey, you need to implement a method. OK, there you are. Click on that. There's our method. And this is specifically going to be called whenever an item is selected inside of the menu. And then just to keep this nice and simple, we're just going to call toast, make text. And you all know what that is because we've covered it a whole bunch of times now. Simple activity, this, pass the context. And we're going to go and put a message inside of this, which is just going to say specifically which item was clicked on. And then at the end of that, that item's index is going to be transferred over here to arg1. And then our duration for the toast to remain on the screen is just going to be length short again. There we go. And then, of course, we have to show the toast by calling show. And we're done with that. So basically everything works for one of our menus completely. So to basically understand exactly what's going on there, you just have to understand exactly what we just did. Now we're basically going to do the same thing for, for three more different menus in slightly different ways. So what are we going to do? We're going to create another button or initialize another button. This is going to be button recipient, of course. Cast it to be a button, find view by ID. Let's just copy, let's just copy the whole thing here. Paste that in. This is going to be button recipient though. There we go. We're going to take button recipient, passed it to pretty much the same type of method that we just passed the previous two. Except this one's going to be create recipient list widget from view, which means of course we have to create this. So let's just create it right here. It's going to be public. And of course this is going to be called whenever the button recipient is clicked. And just like before, it's going to return an S look air button. Go like that, paste in that gigantic name course is going to be passed a view, which is the button. And we're going to do pretty much the same exact thing. We're going to create an instance of the S look air button. Let's just copy this, paste that in there, save ourselves some time. Except in this situation, we're going to call get adapter recipient list. So I'll just change this into recipient. There we go. And then this is going to be UI type list. And this basically just means that we want to display a list. And that's this guy right here. Okay. Remember, here's the recipients. Then we're also going to want to define the display direction for our items using set direction just like before. So we might as well just paste that inside of there. Except in this situation, since we want them to go down, we're going to put lower inside of there. And basically the different options for a list item are going to either be upper, lower, or direction auto, which is just going to lay them in there the way that it thinks best. And we're going to do pretty much the same thing here. Call the set item select listener to catch and then put the index clicked on inside of a toast. And then we're also going to return the air button widget. See? So it's very much the same sort of thing. And there that is. So now we have to create get adapter recipient list. And guess what? It's going to be very, very similar to get adapter menu list. Call public. It's going to return an S look air button adapter. Name's different, of course. We're going to create an array list just like we did before. And we're going to do pretty much the same sort of thing with item list, but I'm going to go through this one time. Air button item, item list, everything else is going to be exactly the same. Here instead for item list add, we're still going to have new air button item. But in this situation, get drawable, 
is going to be the same for everything. So this is going to be recipient every single time. And then here we're going to put in very specific names. So we'll put in Alexander Hamilton. And then null, fill in all the other different names, and then put in return new, S look air button adapter, and return the item list again. Okay, so instead of jumping through all that code and watch, making you watch me type all of it out, I'm just gonna go through the rest of these really quick because they all work pretty much exactly the same way. This time we're going to create the button image menu that you see right here. So we're gonna come in here, create the button image, find the view by calling button image, then we're gonna call create image list view, then we're gonna call create image list widget from view, which is actually right here. What are we gonna do then? Of course, when button image is clicked, this guy's gonna be called. It's gonna return an S look air button. We're then going to create a new instance of S look air button. This is going to generate an array list, which is going to have everything in our menu. And that array list is gonna have a whole bunch of air button items. And of course, this is gonna return an adapter just like it did before. We're gonna use UI type list again, just like before. We're gonna use this guy to handle whenever an item is selected, and then it is going to display a toast on the screen. We're going to set our widget's position by calling gravity left, which is making it show up on the left side of our button. We're going to have the direction be upper, which means it's gonna start from the bottom where the little button was and go upwards. Of course, we're going to be able to use direction lower or direction auto as well, just like before. And then we're going to define the position of the air button specifically using X and Y coordinates to move it exactly where it needs to be. And then finally, we're gonna call air button widget. And if you want to take a look here real briefly at get adapter image list, which is going to return that adapter. Here it is right here. What are we going to do again? We're going to create an array list of air button items. We're going to add them by calling get resources, get drawable. In this situation, we're going to pull in all those different pictures we saw before. And those pictures are, of course, over here in the same folder as we referred to previously. We're not going to have any text inside of these, so we're going to put null right there. We'll put null right there, and everything is set up. And then the final one is basically going to simulate using a really quick way of answering text messages. And this is going to be the button text button down here, which is going to call create text list widget from view. And it's going to get the adapter by calling get adapter string list. So we create our button just like before. And then we call create text widget from view. And here is create text list widget from view. It's going to create an S look air button just like before going to call get adapter string list, which I'm going to show you here in a second. It's also going to be a type list. It's going to have this guy right here handle what's going to be displayed on the screen when one of those items is clicked on, which you already know what that is. It's going to also set the position for this little menu by defining the Y position and letting X be zero. And then it's going to return an air button widget. And then down inside of here, we're not going to have a picture in this situation, so we're going to leave this be null. We're only going to have text, so we're going to put all our text inside of there. This is gonna be null. Now that we have our array list filled up with air button items, we're gonna return it. And then a final thing we're gonna do in this example is a little toast popped up to tell the person what to do. So we are just going to do the same thing by calling toast, make text, pass the context, put our little message inside of it. Please hover and press the S Pen side button on each button. And then finally, how long will it show up on the screen? and set that to short, and then of course call show, and everybody's happy. And you're an expert on how to use the air button and all of these other cool capabilities that we covered here today. Please leave your questions and comments below. Otherwise, till next time.